In Iowa, where the state fair has brought presidential hopefuls together with Hawkeye state voters. The race for the White House kicks off in America's heartland, so the candidates are making themselves heard, and Iowans are ready to listen. I just hope the Republicans can come up with somebody that can win. I want it to be over and done and get a good president. I always vote, no matter what. Everywhere I go, people have been expressing thanks for our willingness to step forward, to stand as a proven conservative in this race. And that's the cure for what ails our country today. I've always felt from the first minute that Iowans have an incredible IQ, the, the due diligence that they're doing, the gravity with which they take this decision, which is frankly the most important decision in the world. They need to hear my agenda. My agenda is to be a America first, make America great again guy, but also, also talking about some things that our side is not talking enough about, if at all. Number one is the epidemic of fatherlessness. People don't know who we are, and I think people need to find out uh, who we are, what we've done, what our vision is for the country. The presidential campaigns need to be about the future, not about the past. Feels like just another day at the fair. Now, whoever wins the White House will have to go through Iowa's growing group of millennials and Gen Z voters. To hear from them, we went to Iowa City, home to the University of Iowa. We spoke with a group of those passionate young citizens, but first, let me introduce you to them. Jasmine, a 20-year-old Republican and second-year chairwoman of the Young Americans for Freedom. Mary is 23 years old, and she identifies as a pro-life, proud Second Amendment Republican. Chris is a 21-year-old independent. He is president of his local debate club and is a first-generation American citizen. Amelia is a 19-year-old and also an independent. Jake is a 21-year-old Democrat who says he disagrees with extreme liberalism. And Ajima is a 20-year-old Democrat. Let's get started. Let's start off about the, the state of this country and one word to describe how you feel about the country right now. Um, one word is hopeful. You feel hopeful. Uh, Mary. Reflected. Mm, Jasmine. Divided. Divided. Chris. Chaotic. Mm, Jake. Disorganized. And Ijima. Flexible. Jasmine, let's start with your comment. People will hate you, unfriend you, stalk you, dox you, and harass you, give you death threats over any of your beliefs if your viewpoint doesn't match theirs. It's gotten to a point where this nation is so hostile and so divided, like Jasmine said, that people aren't willing to reach across the aisle and talk to their neighbor. We're blinded by red, blue, and not really understanding what is all behind that. I have. I have a friend in this audience right now. We're on both two different sides of the political aisle. Who's your friend? Amelia, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, yeah, and, but we're able to have these conversations about you know, our lived experiences, yet residing on different sides of the aisle. So Amelia, how do y'all make this friendship work? <laughs> I think we're both at that point where we realize that there are issues on both sides, and we can both acknowledge that both issues have, like, it's just a mess in Washington. The biggest thing is Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.